Freedom is not free, not here in America. One person's life is more important than another person's life. It always been that way. It's hard to say it'll always be that way, but that's how it looks. All right, we have Hunter Biden, President Biden's son, who has been convicted of a felony, and basically all his crimes and transgressions will be swept under the road, uh, under the rug, excuse me. We got Boosie Badass, local hood hero. Uh, he was caught up in a little trouble, got a little felony, and all his crimes will be brought to the forefront. And guess what? He'll never be able to legally own and protect his family, own a gun or protect his family like Hunter Biden will. Roll the clip. This just happened. Breaking news, President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has been charged with failing to pay federal income tax and for illegally possessing a weapon. After a five-year investigation, President Biden's son, Hunter, has cut a deal with the Justice Department. Has agreed to probation. The deal will allow him to possibly avoid prosecution and jail time on a separate gun charge. Federal prosecutors say that the younger Biden lied about using drugs on a gun permit application, violating federal law. The president and the first lady have responded saying only that they, quote, love their son and they support him. With the gun charge, he put some false information on his uh, permit application. This is important because, like I told you in the previous video, it costs less than a pair of Jordans. Hold on, wait. It costs less than a pair of Jordans than it do to apply and actually get your rights restored so that you won't have to go through some of these certain problems. You're going to always have problems in America, but the less that you can put yourself through, the better you'll be. Some things may never change, but if you have your stuff lined up, all right, I went to the barbershop today when it got spruced up, went to the barbershop. Things have changed since the last time I've been in the barbershop. You know what hasn't changed? There were nine barbers in there. Four of them had on a pair of Jordans. So including me and the other three or four uh, customers that came to get haircuts, there were at least 10 pair of Jordan tennis shoes in that barbershop at one time. But we don't do the same due diligence and go and actually do what's need to be done to, to have our rights. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive there were convicted felons in the barbershop working as barbers, maybe even the owner. I'm, I'm fairly sure that there were weapons in the building. What I'm not sure about is had anyone taken the, chance, the, the steps that it would take to have their rights restored so that they could be legal. So that if any problem should arise, no one would have to go to jail. No one has to go to prison. It'll be what you call a no bill. Learn that from Charleston White. So again, this is important because this don't take a lot of money. All right. Roll the other clip with Boosie Badass. All right, y'all. Stay tuned, man. And the next one we got coming up, well, I ain't going to say the next one, but very soon we got coming up an uh, interview with a convicted felon. Um, you know, he's going to give us the real raw and real uncut about how it is, how he feel, how he see life, you know, dangers, consequences, things he's willing to accept. They going to get a talk. I'm going to make them with me. When he's talking to them, I'm going to make them with me. I'm going out like a gangster. Rapper Boosie Badass faces a new federal gun charge and finds himself in some deep legal trouble. Attorney Bradford Cohen comes on to discuss the case and how authorities use social media and a helicopter to track the artist down. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. All right, so I'm once again joined by Bradford Cohen, very special guest. This is somebody who represents hip-hop artists, like we said. He used to represent YNW Melly, but he currently represents Kodak Black. I want to talk to you right now about Boosie Badass, what the situation is there. So the rapper, whose real name is Torrance Hatch, he's been in and out of trouble with the law. He's been previously convicted of drug offenses. He was arrested and hit with a federal gun charge for being a felon in possession of a firearm. 
And this is quite the story. So apparently San Diego police were looking at an Instagram video of a known gang member when they noticed Boosie in the video with a black handgun in the waistband of his pants. Okay, so then they check out Boosie's Instagram and there was a live story being broadcast from a gang associated neighborhood in San Diego. So what do authorities do then? They locate Boosie using an airborne law enforcement unit. Basically, it's a helicopter and they see him getting into an SUV. They make a traffic stop after the car doesn't stop at a red light and they find a black gun that matches the description of the one that was in that video. They find it inside the car. He was arrested and charged with state crime, a state crime. But this is where the catch after he's leaving court for an appearance on that state charge, which was actually dismissed. Cartier, friend.